Hey, what's up you guys, it's Connor, and today I'm going to be doing my, I don't know, not a month specific book haul, but just a book haul. I haven't done a book haul in quite some time, and so I have accumulated some books. It's not a crazy amount, so let's just get started. The first book I ended up picking up has been recommended to me a million times on my channel. It's because I love middle grades so much, and this is a lot of people's favorite middle grade series. And so I picked up Pendragon by DJ McHale, the Merchant of Death. It follows a boy named Bobby, and he has a dog, and he has to save both Earth and this other world. And I think it has a lot of Arthurian retelling elements involved, obviously, with the last name of Pendragon. So I'm pretty excited to see where this is going to go. It's a 10 book series, so it's going to take me quite some time to get through it all, but I love middle grades, so I'm hoping I love this one too. The next book I picked up is The Culling by Steven Dos Santos. It's about a boy named Lucky who enters this competition to join this elite task force type of thing, but the kicker is that most of the people that enter this competition end up dying, and he ends up falling in love with another participant, like another boy that's in the process of becoming a part of this task force thing. And the reason why he is trying to be in this task force is because it'll keep his brother alive or something like that. So it sounds pretty interesting and I had a couple of people suggest this when I was talking about getting more into LGBT reads. And yeah, so hopefully I'll like it. I know some people that I trust their opinions on books haven't liked it as much. So I don't know what I'm gonna end up actually getting to this, but I have it for when I do want to read it. I then picked up Ice Hunt by James Rollins. This is a science fiction thriller book that is from the same author of Amazonia, which I really did enjoy, and I did a book review for that. So I'm hoping to love this thriller just as much. I think it has a similar premise where there's an exploration team and they go missing, and then they're trying to figure it all out, and there's some people that know some stuff that they shouldn't know. I don't really know all that much because I like to go into thrillers a little bit more blind But when I got the book someone had put beginning to end wow So hopefully I will have the same opinion also James Rollins is awesome He commented on my book review and I was like oh I see you. I saw you watch my video <laughs> and it was really cool So I want to read more of his books my brother-in-law was then getting rid of a lot of his books because they just need more space and he's not a big rereader so he was getting rid of these books and he asked me to go through his books and see if I wanted any of them so I just picked a couple that I don't know how interested I am in them but if I ever were to be interested then I might as well already have them so I picked up Star Trek The Lost Years by J.M. Dillard I don't know anything about Star Trek but I read Red Shirts by John Scalzi and I thought it was hilarious and I thought it was really great so maybe I will read this I should probably watch the TV show or the movies or something, but <laughs> I have it. The next two books I got are both by Dan Brown, and that is Angels and Demons and The Da Vinci Code. I saw The Da Vinci Code movie, and I don't know how it compares to the book, but it was fine. So I'm hoping to get to these. I know that he has a very formulaic writing style, and so I think these are actually pretty similar in plot. Let me know which one you guys think I should read first. I think this one actually comes first, and then this one comes second. Or if they're all the same story pretty much which book i should just read and which one i should not read or if they're both amazing let me know that as well it's i think both are about robert langdon and he's solving mysteries and that kind of stuff i don't know i picked them up they were free from my brother-in-law so might as well and the last book i picked up from my brother-in-law was planet of the apes by pierre bull bull i absolutely love the planet of the apes movies i watched the original ones and then they came out with newer ones i think recently but i haven't really watched those but i really like the original movies i used to watch them with my dad all the time so this was kind of a nostalgia pickup for me it's pretty small as well so maybe i'll get to this when i'm feeling nostalgic and just you know re-experience the planet of the apes then I got on like a little bit of a kick of buying books that people were suggesting to me in comments on my videos so if you guys ever have suggestions for me just leave them in the comments because I actually do look up every single book that people suggest to me and then sometimes I'm like yes I need that book in my life right now and I add it to my cart and I buy it so these books were all suggestions from people who watch my videos the first of those is gonna be Gregor the Overlander by Suzanne Collins this is obviously the author of the Hunger Games and I've been meaning to read this series for a long time because I've been seeing it in used bookstores and such but it's always paperback and I I'm not a huge fan of paperbacks, so I ended up finding it on Amazon for really, really cheap, and I picked it up, and I'm hopefully going to be really enjoying it. It's about a boy named Gregor, who I think with his sister goes into the Underland, and he goes through some adventures down there, and this is a middle grade 
book as well. I think it's the beginning of a series. I think there's five books in the series. Not exactly sure on that, but I think I'll really like it because Suzanne Collins and I really like the Hunger Games series, so. Yep, <laughs> got that one. The next book someone suggested to me because they know how much I love mythology and how I've kind of been getting more into comic books and graphic novels and manga recently, and so they suggested that I pick up Zeus, King of the Gods. This is the first book in George O'Connor's Olympian comic book series, and so it basically goes over the very beginning of the Olympian's reign, and so it shows how Zeus overthrows his father and his father overthrew his father and stuff like that. I've already actually read this book, it was only 80 pages, and I did enjoy it, so I will be continuing with the series. And I actually ended up getting this book for free because they mislabeled it on Amazon. They said it was, like, new or something, and it has a lot of damage on it. So I ended up getting it for free, which was nice, because free books are always nice. And the last book that I got based off people's suggestions was on my top six animal sidekicks video and I was talking about how animal sidekicks aren't used all that often and people suggested that I pick up Wolf Brother by Michelle Paver. This is the first book in the Chronicles of Ancient Darkness series and I've actually already read this book and I loved it. I ended up giving it five stars. That'll I'll talk about it more in a wrap-up that's upcoming, but I really did enjoy it a lot. It's about a boy named Torak, and he is living in ancient America. He's a Native American, and it's like thousands of years ago, 6,000 years ago, and he finds out that he is able to communicate with a wolf pup, and then he goes on adventures, and it's really crazy. There's evil spirits, and there's magic, and it's really cool. It's a really cool Native American ancient fantasy story that Michelle actually did a lot of research before starting to write the novel and so you can see all that research and how she made a lot of the different clans and the different aspects of their world very true to history but then she added these fantasy elements so I thought was really interesting really well done and I haven't been talking about it for too long. <laughs> and the last book I got I was in St. Martin on vacation and I really, really had to go to the bathroom so I saw a bookshop and I went in and when I went in it was just like all religious books. There were no other books, pretty much, except for religious books. And then I asked to use the restroom and they wouldn't let me use it unless I bought something. So then I was like, oh, fine, I'll buy something. So I, I just picked up the first book that they were talking to me about because they were literally trying to sell me their whole store. And so I ended up buying Following Atticus by Tom Ryan. I spent so much money on this book. It was way overpriced. Like, so it says $16 and I paid above that, which I, it, what I had to pee, so it was worth it at the time, but in retrospect, was it worth it? I don't know. But this is a non-fiction book about Tom Ryan, who decides to raise money for a specific charity. I think that his friend gets cancer, and so he's raising money for that specific type of cancer, and he decides that he's going to hike the 28 mountain peaks that are near him twice in one season, and he brings along his dog, Atticus, and so I figured that this was probably actually a decent pickup because I love Nook, who's sitting right here chewing on a bone. <laughs> Hi, puppy. And I've actually been trying to get more active with Nook and taking him hiking and everything, and so I figured that this would give me a little bit of knowledge if I want to maybe hike the Appalachian Trail with Nook at some point. I'll, I'll be using it as a reference to see like what kind of things he brings, what kind of gear he needs, stuff like that, and also the message of raising money for cancer research is amazing. So yeah, I figured it was, it was okay. Probably worth whatever I paid for it to use the restroom. Hopefully I'll be reading it soon. The end. <laughs> so those are all the books that I've picked up since my last book haul. Actually, I don't know if it's all of them, but whatever, it's the majority of them. I'm sure there's one or two that I have forgotten about and just actually put on my shelves. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below what books you've been getting recently. Do you have any more suggestions for me? Because I've read two of the three books that I bought through recommendations from you guys, and I actually did enjoy both of those, and I will talk to you guys next time.